Two, one. <laughs> Hello, welcome back, everybody. So, of course, this is again a uh, slice of pie page where we interview either a student or an, a parent of a student or one of my university students uh, every two weeks. So, of course, today I will teach uh, about her. So, today we have Dr. Ayako today. Hello, good morning. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, of course, uh, she is from where my school is, like she's from the same town, Tagasaki. And uh, she grew up near, if you're familiar with this town, she grew up near Tagasaki yeah. Girls High School. So she didn't yeah. have part to go to school. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> so let's see, Tagasaki, by the way, here. So of course, this is brought to you by our Slice of Pie uh, page on mm -hmm. uh, YouTube. And of course, this is our English school. Sorry, you can, if you go there, if you're overseas person, you can go there and you can translate into English. Let's see. And of course, she's from Guma, which is uh, the middle of Japan, north, south, east, west, kind of the middle of yep. Japan. And let's see, here's Tagasaki, which I'll link in the show notes. And here's some food I found. Tagasaki is famous for, of course, is Dharma Bento, but also they have Italian food. And uh, I'll yep. put this in the show notes later, but this is a trip advisor, 15 items famous for Tagasaki. Uh, I don't know if she'll recommend one of these, but let's see. So let me close the page. Okay. So Dr. Ayako, so first up, please introduce us about what's famous food or famous sightseeing spot in your hometown, Tagasaki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Tagasaki, uh, it's famous um, for Italian food. Um pastas in in Takaseki the pastas are so huge uh, we cannot eat uh, one size alone we have to share but <laughs> it's very tasty <laughs> speaking of that which is your favorite Italian restaurant in Takaseki do you have a favorite uh, yeah uh, Shango Mm. Yeah, it's Shango. Uh, because I uh, used to go there when I was little. <laughs> so it's uh, it reminds me my uh, uh, stu uh, I was little. Mm. Okay, so how about sorry to interrupt you. How about sightseeing <clears throat> spot in Tagaseki? I recommend Shoulinzan because uh, it's very famous for uh, Daluma. Mm. <laughs> That's right. What's so, the saying? Eight times <laughs> fall down? I was confused. It's seven times fall down? Eight times get up? Or eight times fall down? Yeah. What's, yeah, what's yeah, the saying? Yeah. Which, um, which one? Seven, seven times yeah. fall down and eight times fall up. I get up, get up. Yeah. Ah, that's it's right. Belly. You get up. Oh, that's right. It's very, uh, that's a good place. Yeah, they uh, they have a famous festival. When is it? January the 5th? Where they uh, burn yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole dharmas. Yeah, 10th, 10th, uh, January maybe. 10th. Ah, uh, yeah, so you yeah. can walk, if you ever visit our town, yeah, you can walk up to the temple. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have yeah. lots of uh, dharma, which uh, I think I saw, I don't know if this is still true, but I think 85% of the dharma in Japan are produced in our, in our town. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very strong. Actually, yes, uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned this on video, but one of our students' parents, grandparents, mm -hmm. have one of those famous mm -hmm. Dharma factories. So, so the mm -hmm. Dharma in our office was made by one of my students. Yeah, so we're lucky we have such a tradition. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Third part of this interview. So, uh, mm -hmm. third part, I should explain the whole series. And of course, third part, I'll explain why I invited her, why I could see her. Fourth part, she'll give us some study advice, how to be a better student mm -hmm. herself. Uh, sh and fifth part is, of course, how to be better this year, physically, mentally, emotionally. So the third part, yes. So I invited her. If you if you're watching the series, she I already invited her once before. So I'll link up above uh, where she talked about how she helps her kids learn English. But in this one, mm -hmm. I want to ask her how about herself because uh, even though uh, sh uh, she was a student. Uh, she she has not been a student for a while, but she still keeps up her English. Of course, uh, uh, helping mm -hmm. maybe is when she lived in Ohio, she had experience there. <laughs> but even that, 
uh, still, a lot of people mm -hmm. live in America and then come back and they lose their English quite uh, rapidly, but mm -hmm. he still can keep up <laughs> and understand me. So I think she, uh, she is doing something to keep up her English. So that's why I thought it'd be interesting to invite her today. Okay, so in the fourth part, yes, she'll explain to us uh, how does she keep up her English, even though it's been years since uh, she's been in Ohio. Okay, so please start. Yep, thank you for the opportunity. The reason I study English is my children's English skills improve so quickly because of Applepie English School. <laughs> so I made up my mind to be better. I worked as a doctor and also a mom of three killed children. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I didn't have much time to taking English lessons. So I'm trying to listen English dramas while, while I'm doing housework mm -hmm. after kids got sleep. I started with kids movies like Disney movies, Disney movies, <laughs> uh, because I know the stories and they're not using difficult phrases. I use English subtitles to help me understanding. After that, I watch, uh, started watching English dramas because uh, dramas are shorter than movies, so it is uh, comfortable for me to listen while I'm doing housework. Yeah, movies are too long. <laughs> uh, I watch Ear, mm. which is my favorite movie and um, dramas in my junior high school days and then Grey's Anatomy. Uh, for me, medical dramas are easy to understand uh, because I know the, how, what they do and what to do next and what the diagnosis is. Uh, uh, then I saw uh, Glee, Glee and Station 19, which is fire station move, uh, dramas, and Ali McBeal, which is a little uh, difficult for me um, because I don't know the regal words. Mm. And they speak so fast. fast. <laughs> then uh, now I, I'm watching Good Doctor, and once upon a time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, watching the dramas for maybe two or three years. Yeah, now I'm, I feel myself getting used to uh, listening English and a little bit improved in speaking English. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that was good advice. Uh, especially, so I want to point out two things. One is, like she said, mm -hmm. that she started with uh, medical dramas. Uh, yes, because mm -hmm. she's a doctor. Yes, my sister, uh, my sister is also a doctor, and she, uh, her <laughs> husband, doctors, and she loved during medical school. She loved watching mm -hmm. ER. Uh, ER was just coming yeah, out yeah, yeah. in medical school, so she yeah. said, "Yeah, it's uh, it's nice because you understand everything." So of course, yeah. So you should mm -hmm. start. That's great advice. Start with what you know. So like I like history, yep. I like law. So I like I watch law shows a lot. So and then it's easy, yeah. and then you can move on from there to different areas. The second yeah, thing yeah, I want yeah. to mention is uh, since I've interviewed her twice as an adult and as a parent, both that a lot of my parents, students, oh sorry, mm -hmm. parents of my students think, oh, the <laughs> YouTube channel is in English. I can't watch it. But actually, the, <laughs> the number one way to help your kids. Mm -hmm learn something is to actually learn in front of them so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so for example reading i saw the um survey years ago but they they proved that if you want your kids to read more actually the number one mm -hmm. way is to have books yeah. in the house and parents reading mm -hmm. in front of them yep, yep so yep. so i'm sure her kids when they watch her studying english they're more motivated to study <laughs> this themselves 
So, okay, uh, the fifth part, uh, how to be better this year? Mm -hmm. So I always ask this at the end of every uh, interview. So uh, you can pick mm -hmm. either physically or emotionally or mentally. Uh, how do you plan mm -hmm. to make yourself better? It's almost the end of the year. So how about for next year? Uh, what's your resolution yep. for next year? How do you plan to make yourself better physically, emotionally, mentally? Mm -hmm. um, I would never give up studying, even if I don't have much time. Yeah, that's a resolution. Uh, even five day, five minutes a day become 30 hours a, in a year. So I never give up. That's good advice. It's like the old Chinese saying, what is it? Uh, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so yep. those steps build yep. up, build up, build up. Okay, uh, everybody, yeah. let's say thank you. So in the comments, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and say thank you to Dr. Ayuko for coming again, taking the time out <laughs> of her day. <laughs> so uh, everybody mm -hmm. else, I'll see you. And please watch tomorrow's video where we have a different video learning this every day. See you. See you. See ya. <laughs> See you. See you. See you.